everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are going to be doing some recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale that is coming up. So I may have two videos. I may have this one today, which are recommendations for all of you, and then a what's in my cart video. I haven't really decided yet. I've done quite a bit of shopping lately, so <laughs> I don't know how much stuff I'm gonna be picking up at the Sephora event, but I know I'll be picking up something, so we'll see. Um, and then I definitely will have a Sephora haul video and I'm going to try to do that one live once everything comes in. But you know, I've been looking around at like some of the things I've been picking up and there's, there's just a lot. So I'm kind of like, <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't buy a ton of things. Um, again, we'll see. So let's do it this way. I'm going to start with complexion products. I'm going to go to um, like eyeshadows and then lips and then we'll do like hair care, tools, that kind of thing. First, I would like to say I made a rookie mistake today and I did my hair. I, I blew it out for those of you who've seen my, my blowout video. So I did it like I always do and I ran around and I was doing stuff and then I, I, I forget... I didn't get hot, something was going on. And what I did is I pulled my hair up. When I pull my hair up, I kind of pull it on the top of my head and then I twist it and then I put it in a bun, which is fine normally when my hair is fully dry. But my hair actually was a slight bit damp, like not just the, the tiniest bit. So now I have this going on on the side of my head because it was damp enough that when I put it in the twist on the top of my head, it did that. So, and it's such a rookie, I mean, I, I know better. I know better, but I did it anyway. So my hair looks a little funky, but it is what it is. And <laughs> I just was like, I don't have time to redo my hair. So anyway, Let's start with complexion products. And there are a number of new complexion products that are out on the market that I think uh, would be good recommendations. There are products that I already have, but I think that would be, I could certainly recommend to you. Okay, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the blurring skin tint. I've heard great things. I've seen a lot of people use it. I have not used it, so I really can't say anything um, about it. So I, I wish I could comment on that, but I, I just really can't. The Makeup Forever Reboot, um, foundation. I really like that foundation. It's something that I use a lot. I have dry skin, but it does work for me. So that's a foundation that I would definitely, I actually really like it. I, I would recommend. Um, the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I absolutely love that foundation. The way it goes on, it looks beautiful on the skin. My only caveat is I don't really like the spray, but I think that's what makes it look great on the skin. So what I do is I kind of spray it on my brush and then stamp it in. I've seen other people, Aileen from A March Beauty, by the way, if you're not following Aileen at A March Beauty, you need to follow her. She is just incredibly down to earth, super sweet. Um, lover of luxury makeup, uh, just a really kind, lovely person. So go ahead and check her channel out. I'll make sure she's she's linked in the description box. But she sprays it directly on her skin. I don't know how she does that. <laughs> if I did that, I just think it would be a recipe for disaster. Uh, I'm talking about Fenty. The Fenty Be uh, Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Like I said, I don't have the new one, but that one, that one's awesome. Love that foundation. I think it looks absolutely beautiful on. Looks great on my dry skin, um, and I think it would look good on on lots of different people. I really, really like it. Uh, the I'm moving my thing out of the way. The um, Givenchy Prisme Libre Foundation, great foundation if you're looking for something that's like almost like a tinted moisturizer, but a little bit more. It's got a beautiful finish. It's uh, it's really nice. It's it's got just a great glow to it. Really, really love it. And the last uh, complexion, and I'm saying complexion, I, I'm really saying foundation, is the uh, Merit Complexion Foundation and Concealer Stick. If you haven't seen my review of the Merit line, guys, this complexion stick, first of all, the shade that I got, which was Dune, I believe, it's an exact match 
for my skin, which is saying a lot because I've been going on and on for months about how it's so hard to match me. That That's a perfect match. So if you think you have similar skin to mine, you should check that out. That's the first thing. Second thing is that complexion stick, it melds with your skin. There was no discernible line. It didn't like... It was amazing, and I have never had that happen with a stick formula. I have dry skin. Stick formulas generally don't work. The Western Atelier stick formula does work, but I, there's always like a little bit of extra blending I have to do, which is fine. Um, but this one, it was perfect. It's perfect. The only drawback is there's not a lot of product in the stick. Now, it's $38, so it's not as expensive, so you could buy more of it. Um, but other than that, I honestly, hands down, amazing. If it's not on my top list of things for 2021, I'll be stunned. It's just an amazing product. I cannot recommend it high, more, more highly. It's love it. Um, okay, so let's move on to like cheek products, um, highlighters, blushes, not just cheek, but highlighter, blushes, and, and bronzers. Um, in that same vein, the Merit blushes um, are amazing, and I'll pull up the name. So they're like these little, I was trying to think of a name, how to describe them the other day, and I kept saying like, you know, round thingies, and then Kelly from Keep It Real is like, you could call it a domed applicator. And I was like, right, <laughs> right. You can tell I'm a, a trained attorney. It, it's, yeah, doing well. Um, anyway, <laughs> the blushes are great. I had it, yeah, I have it in Beverly Hills, which is a soft peach. Right now, Cheeky, which is a cool pink, and Terracotta, which is a warm cream, are available. Uh, the Beverly Hills is sold out, Raspberry Beret is sold out, and Mood is sold out. But again, it's a week away from the sale. I think they'll, you know, try to restock some stuff. Um, some things may be sold out. I, I don't know. But I honestly can say those cream blushes are just phenomenal. Really, really, really good. The LYS or LIS, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Some people have told me it's love yourself, so it's LYS. Other people have said it's Liss. I would say this. I really love the blush that I've tried. Um, it was confident, I think. Let me pull that one up as well. But I really, really like the blush. Now, these are cream blushes. If you're not into cream blushes, I understand. You know, maybe that's not your thing. But I have older skin, more mature skin, and frankly, cream blushes work really, really well for me. Um, okay, so I have it in Confident, which is a pink cinnamon spice. Uh, at the moment, all six shades are sold out. So I don't know if they'll be available for the sale. If they are, they are matte cream blushes, satin matte though. They're absolutely beautiful. Would highly, highly recommend them. I love the blushes from LYS or Liss. <laughs> However they are supposed to be pronounced, uh, spoken. I should really figure that out. I, and I will, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm very, um, I'm very impressed with, with both of those, um, cheek products. Danessa Myrick's, uh, products that can be used kind of everywhere. Uh, eye, cheek, lips. I used, um, the flush shade in Nutcracker, which is like a, it looks like, you know, like a nut shade. It's like a brown almond shade. Very pretty. Goes into the skin. Really beautiful. Really, really like that. Tower 28, again, cream cream blush there. Beach Please lip and cheek cream blushes are amazing. Love those. The Fenty ones are good too. I like the Fenty. Again, those are all creams. Um, for, for powder blushes, I would say the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Dior Backstage is really nice. Uh, the Dior Rouge blushes, the Patrick Taz, Again, this is just for Sephora. Those would be the ones that I would would recommend for you know the ones that are available on Sephora. Those would be my top. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people have been asking me about blushes lately because of Chanel. Uh, two things to tell you: I found a bunch of Chanel 
old Chanel. Uh, I'll show it to you soon, hopefully. I mentioned it in another video, so I'm excited and also scared <laughs> about how old they are. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if, if it's uh, usable. But anyway, if you're looking for other blushes, the Dior's are good. Tom Ford blush is not, I don't think the Tom Ford blushes are on Sephora, but Tom Ford's great if you can find, there's lots of sales going on right now. They're very pigmented. Just be aware of that if you're, you know, a very pale person um, like myself. Uh, so for bronzer, I would say the Gucci bronzer is still my favorite uh, for what's available here on Sephora. Really love that bronzer. Uh, I've been using it since last year and I don't think a lot's going to knock it out, guys. I mean, I really like it. The Guerlain Terracotta, the new one in 00C that I tried, it's it's definitely good if you're a pale person and you want a warmer toned. It's not warm, but it's warmer toned. Uh, definitely not cool like the Gucci. And it says cool. It says 00C cool, but it's not. Um, it's not, it's like a neutral, I guess I would say. It's it's not like super warm, it's not gold, but it's certainly not cool. So if you're very pale and you're looking for a warmer shade, a little bit warmer, then that's a good way to go. The Westman Atelier um, powder bronzers, they're very good. They're both really pigmented. Um, the lighter shade is what I wear and it's still very, very pigmented, but it is a beautiful bronzer. And I do I do very much like that one. And then the Kosas bronzer is also very nice, the, the lightest shade. Again, I can only speak for my skin tone, but um, they work extremely well. They work extremely well on me. All right, so we did blushes and bronzers. Um, okay, so highlighters. I don't really do a lot of concealers or contour products. The Fenty contour is good. Uh, I forgot the shade that I use. Biscuit? I can't remember. Uh, shoot. I'll see if I can get the shade. Um, yeah, concealers. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one, actually. Um, like the, the Corrector by Charlotte Tilbury. I do wear that one, and I do like that. Um, the Bobbi Brown highlighting powders. I've recently tried the Rosy Glow one. I really like that. It's, it's actually very pretty. That is available. Uh, those highlighter powder, highlighting powders are available on Sephora. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a really good highlighter. And the Beauty Highlighter Wands by Charlotte Tilbury. I would strongly and highly recommend those. I really do like those. Um, as to the products on here. Oh, Westman Atelier. The Westman Atelier Highlighting Sticks. Strong, very strong. The Merit ones, I really like. Um, like the Westman Atelier ones, but I, in my opinion, the, the Merit ones don't have as much shade, as much pigment, as the Westman Atelier. The Westman Atelier had more pigment to it. Now, I've only tried one of the Merit sticks, so, you know, I don't, I have to be, I don't know about all of them. Um, the Dior Nude Luminizer, the, sh the powder, Shimmering Glow Powder, that actually does look very nice on the skin. I do like that. Uh, there are Guerlain Meteorites, which, you know, I love the Meteorites, guys. I mean, if you've been watching my channel, I do love, I do love that. Okay. So, that's foundation, bronzer, blush, highlighter. Um, let's go to mascara. So, recently I've been really loving the Bite Upswing Mascara. It's what I'm wearing now. Um, I feel like it's a really good mascara. It, it goes on really easily. It like gets your lashes like super quick and they're full, they're long. It takes like five seconds. I do have trouble using, um, the upswing on my lower lashes. Again, that could be user error. Just putting it out there. Uh, but I do really like the mascara. I think it's excellent. So that would be my number one choice. Um, Marc Jacobs at Lashed, excellent, excellent mascara. Works for an all-around good mascara like all the time. Really love that. The um, Dior Overcurl Mascara is another huge favorite. I'm just looking if there's any others. 
Those are the ones that call to me, I'm looking at it right now, that I'm like, yes, absolutely. The Merit Clean, if you're looking for a clean mascara, it's actually very good. Um, it's like an all, it's like an everyday good mascara. I don't think it's super lengthening or super volumizing, but for an everyday mascara, that's kind of what you want, right? I mean, you don't want something that's necessarily over the top. So, um, those would be my recommendations there. Eye primer, the one I like is the Tom Ford. Uh, and again, that's not for everybody. That's people for, who are looking for like a smooth surface, but don't really have concerns about longevity. So, um, brows, the ABH brow wax, the brow freeze guys, that does work. What I'd say though, is that I think it works best for people who have like thicker or fuller brows that they can just, you know, they just want to have like in place. If you have sparse brows, the thing is you have to use the wax and then get a product that will go over the wax. The powder pencils, like the Gucci pencil didn't really work very well for me over that wax. That's just, maybe that was just me, but it absolutely does what it's supposed to do. It absolutely holds your brows in place and it holds it there all day. No question. Um, but I think I'm going to like that product a lot more after I get my brows microbladed. That's just me. Um, I haven't tried the Huda Beauty or the Charlotte Tilbury ones yet. So I don't have anything else to say there. The Tom Ford one at the moment is still my favorite. Uh, okay. Eyeshadows. So Natasha Denona, love Natasha Denona. Uh, I do have the Circo Loco eyeshadow palette in my cart for the, for the sale, for the 20% off sale. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. I really feel like I'm not going to use those shades. I really do. Like uh, I think it'll just sit there, but there's a part of me that wants to get it anyway, because I love Natasha Denona and I'm like, well, it's 20% off, but I feel like 20% off of $129. Yeah, that's great. But I could then spend that $25. I mean, $25 off. So it's $104 or so plus tax. So let's say $100, right? I could use $100 for something else that I would use. So I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. Same kind of thing. I love the color story in there. I think it's really pretty. I really want it. But I'm like, will it just go on sale later? And will I really use it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so the thing that I would recommend in the eyeshadows on Sephora sale, Dior. The Dior Five Color Couture eyeshadow palettes. Find a color story you like, pick one up. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. The Dior shadows are stunning. Pat McGrath, any Mothership palette. Any Mothership palette is going to be amazing. Pick it up. It's just, they're stunning. Um, there are Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes. What I'd say about Tom Ford is there's some Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes that I absolutely love and are my favorite of all times. And there's other Tom Ford palettes that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really like them that much. I do not feel that way about Dior or Pat McGrath. Dior, any of the five, you'll be good. Pat McGrath, any of the motherships, you're good. On fours, I'm like, eh, eh. Uh, the Natasha Denona's, I love all the Natasha Denona's palettes, actually, I have to say. Me personally, I love them. Um, is there anything else in here that I would strongly encourage you guys to get? The Marc Jacobs palettes are actually really good. The iconic ones, the long ones, I know a lot of people don't talk about those, but they actually are really good. Seriously, the, the formulas are excellent. Um, and they're almost always on sale. They're almost always on sale, which I just find interesting. Um, yeah, I really, really like those. Um, okay, let's look at lips. Lipsticks, the Dior lipsticks are awesome. Really like that. The Merit lip oils, I really like those. If they are available when the sale goes up, I probably will get some. I know it's kind of silly because nobody's really, I mean, you're not going to see them in the mask, but I really like them. And they'll be 20% off. 
The Charlotte Tilbury Hyal Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lipstick Balms. I only have one. I have it in Pillow Talk, but I really like it. They're very, they're very thick balms, and they feel really good. And when I'm not wearing a mask, I'm going to really enjoy those. I hope they stick around. Um, the E. Saint Laurent Rouge Volup Li Shine Lipsticks. I've had those from years before. To me, they smell like um, watermelon Jolly Ranchers. That's what they smell like to me. But uh, I really like those. I like the formula. But again, they're sheer balms. They're, they're just really pretty. They're great for spring and summer. Um, you know, <laughs> hopefully soon people will actually be able to see our lips. Tom Ford lipsticks, again, there are some Tom Ford lipsticks that I absolutely love. And then there's others that I'm not that fond of. Um, Gucci lipsticks are, are good. Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are good. You know, um, I haven't bought as much lipstick this year, to be really honest with all of you guys. I mean, I've still bought a lot of lipstick in comparison with what I'm wearing um, for the channel, but... You know, I, I, lipstick used to be like my favorite thing. Um, so let's take a look at the new section just really quick and see if I missed anything in makeup. And then we'll move to skincare and like tools and stuff. So I mentioned Merit. I mentioned LYS. Um, Gucci, they have eyeliners and lip liners. Their eyeliners and lip liners are really, really good. The, the, the one that I would recommend in the eyeliner, the shade that I just think is really unique um is the uh anthracite yeah the anthracite the gray it's this grayish blue it's really pretty um they're all nice and they actually go on really well but that's the shade if you're gonna you know I, we all have eyeliners but that shade i think is unique um and i really like that one and in the gucci liners lip liners it's um meal m-i-e-l or meal uh, that one is a really interesting, like, orangey shade. I like that one. That's a unique shade. I don't really have anything else like it. Um, I'm just going through to see if there's something new that I might have missed. I don't think so. Like I said, I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury Brows program. There's a brow cheat, eyebrow pencil, you know, the kit. I haven't tried it, so I can't, I can't comment on it. Now, as we get to products, like for hair or tools, there's a couple of, of things that I highly recommend. For skincare, I highly recommend La Mer. Now, I know a lot of people have issues with La Mer. That's fine, I get that, um, but it works for me. And I use La Mer all the time. I use the toner, I use the soft lotion and the pump, I use the creme de La Mer, um, I use the oil cleanser. I love La Mer. The other products that I love for skincare are Retrove, Sicily, and Chantecaille. Those are not available on Sephora, so I can't recommend them to you because we're doing a Sephora sale. So I would say of the products that I can stand by and be like, yes, I know these work and I love on, on Tephora, um, you know, that's what comes to mind. La Mer comes to mind. I do like the Belief products, the Belief moisturizers. I got some from my mom at Christmas. She seemed to like them as well. Um, but I'd really say the La Mer is the thing that, that stands out to me in regards to skincare. The tools in skincare, I would say the Dr. Jonas Gross Mask. If, you know, I, I posted about it the other day because the, the kit is available on Sephora. Hey, Monday? I forget. But the point is, I really do use that mask. Like, I really do use it twice a week. Um, I try to use it three times a week, but sometimes I forget. Uh, but I really do use it twice a week, consistently. And I do think it helps. I think it helps with inflammation in my skin. Uh, I do think it helps make my skin feel better and look better. So, I do really recommend it. I think it's, I think it's a good tool. I have like a facial massage tool that I also think works and actually helps with my headaches, but it's a Chantecaille product, so that's not gonna be available here. Hair care, there are a couple of things. One is the Orbe product, products. 
I have not used everything by Orbe because some products wouldn't work for me. Obviously, I don't have blonde hair, so I don't use the shampoo, shampoo for blonde hair. Uh, I don't use the one for like oily hair, but but everything I've ever used by Orbe has been excellent. So I use the shampoo for for beautiful color. I think it's called. Um, that's what I use to wash my hair, condition my hair. I also use the Royal Blowout Spray. I also use their mousse. I, I, I really love all of their products. So Orbe is my uh, line for hair care. And I just think they're f phenomenal. And then Dyson. As you know, the Dyson uh, hair dryer giveaway is still going on. You have until April 15th to enter. And I... <sighs> I love Dyson. I, I mean, I love everything Dyson's done. I have Dyson. I have a Dyson um, vacuum cleaner. I have a Dyson air fan. Air fan. A fan. I have a Dyson um, hair dryer. I have a Dyson air wrap. I don't have the Dyson hair straightener because I don't really straighten my hair that way. In other words. I, I blow it out like the video that you saw me do if you watch my blow out video with like a round brush but I don't really like my hair straight um, just fully straight uh, I don't know why I just don't I just don't I just don't do that with my hair I used to uh, when I was in my 20s um, but yeah I just it's not how I style my hair so I don't have the straightener but I have all the other stuff and anything else they come out with, I'll probably buy because it all works phenomenally well and lasts forever. Is it more expensive up front? Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, but I never have a problem with it. It works exactly like it's supposed to. It saves me a ton of time and I never have to replace it. So it's totally worth it <laughs> to me. Anyway, I mean. Um, so yeah, that's why I love the Dyson. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I can think of. Uh, so I think that's it for today. Yeah, I think that's it. Sorry about the weird hair. I, <laughs> it's just so funny. I took it out of the bun and the minute I took it out, I was like, oh no. Like I knew, I knew. I was like, I can't. Oh, rookie mistake. rookie mistake. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.